Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms XF. My mother and I lived on the open road of an endless journey for as long as I can remember. Like dandelion seeds carried by the wind, we never stopped in any one place for long. Mother wandered through Philgaia, ever searching for a certain place. The Legacy Ruins. A legendary set of ruins said to house a number of advanced technologies that were lost eons ago. Certain that the ruins would hold the key to reversing Philgaia's progressive decay, my mother relentlessly pursued them, with me by her side. We wandered from one country to the next, researching the folklore and ancient texts of the lands. The long-forgotten technologies described in the legends filled my young heart with wonder and excitement. A machine that soars like a bird, a new moon created by man, and a warrior cast from steel holding a soul within. A golem. And now a golem has leapt from the pages of legend and landed in our reality. Those are high-powered Slayheim grenades. Only professionals use those. But I suppose we have more pressing matters at the moment. I couldn't stand to see your body destroyed by such pedestrian weaponry. You are mine to do with as I please, Phileas. Mine and mine alone. I do hope you understand that. Oh. Phileas, you know him? No, I've never seen this person before in my life. Ah, uh, yes. We haven't met before, have we? In that case, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Weisheit. I am but a lowly merchant who had the great fortune to be permitted to deal with the royal family of Elysius. Weisheit the Death Merchant? The dark side of the royal family whispered about for ages. <laughs> I do prefer to keep a low profile. But there are certainly advantages to having one's name known. What do you want with us? I don't seem to be receiving a particularly cordial welcome, despite my having just saved all of your lives. I suppose that's fair. As you have so astutely inferred, I am in fact no ally of yours. <gasps> Perhaps you could do me the favor of entertaining my golem Asgard for a time. He won't bore you, I promise you that. Man, that voice actor really sucks for a uh, vice height. It just sounds like it's uh, reading a script. It's terrible. Okay, this is the Ancient Weapon, another concoction from Weisheit the Death Merchant. Don't underestimate the threat it poses. It'd be best to surround it and attack it with a powerful mixture of combination and formation arts, restricting its ability to react. But its offense is still a complete mystery. If it does anything suspicious, fan out and prepare for a response for a prudent distance. This is a mechanized enemy unit we're dealing with, so you should know what to do. Hit it where it hurts, and this one's in the bag. I'm all set up and ready to go, so let's get this show on the road. Uh, I didn't change much. <clears throat> Basically, I took out all elementalist abilities, and I switched them with, um... Ooh, this go twice in a row. Nice! And I switched them with, um... What are they called? Uh, Fantastica abilities. So everybody has Fantastica, as well as having, um... Sacred Slayer. So that's the main, most important thing, is have Fantastica and have Sacred Slayer, and then you'll be perfectly fine. This is actually a very easy uh, fight to win, so don't even worry about it that much. Go ahead and get people rushed, and get everybody into the water as close to Asgard as possible. It's going to take some time to get over there, but once we do get over there, it'll be fine. Yeah. So now he uses this which basically nullifies all damage that would be dealt to him. So that's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's fine, because the main job right now is to have everybody use feeble mind on him and reduce his MP as much as humanly possible. Uh, let's get everybody rushed. Are you rushed? You're not rushed. You're... okay. So you're not rushed, so I want you rushed. And Labyrinthia will actually be useful! during this fight. Who would have thought? Man, it's, it's a shock that she'll actually be useful. 
I can't slow down. Can I people mind? No. So just chill. If you can't do either of those things right now, don't even worry about it. Uh, oh, your rush ran out. That sucks. Well, then let's turn shift over to somebody who is useful, like Levin. Yeah, Levin is so good. He's just ridiculous. Oh, uh, okay. There we go. Feeble Mind. Awesome. Yeah, get it going. I don't care about surrounding him. I don't care about using combination arts. I don't care about using uh, formation arts. None of that crap. I want his MP gone. That's all I care about. Uh, let's see. Are you rushed? You're still rushed. So let's get... Yeah, all of us rushed here. Ooh, and it even allows... No, I was gonna say it allows him to rush himself, but it doesn't. That sucks. Okay, we're getting his MP down. Once his MP is down, all he can do is physically attack. And his physical hits are nothing to concern yourself with at all. Are you rushed? You are not. Uh, I want you to warp close then, because you will actually be useful in this fight. So get as close as humanly possible. Uh, over there. I can't and let myself let's get see discouraged. What I want you to do. Uh, go over here and just um, encourage. That way, Labyrinthia will get a turn quicker. Awesome. And you. I think that you were rushed. Good. So I have him feebled. Uh, let's fragile him. I still can't damage him, so I don't want to slow him down quite yet. Stay focused on what's ahead. Okay, you're fine. Um. And, yeah, you got him fragiled. I don't want to... Well, I'll slow him down right now, because he's still going to get his turn next. It really doesn't matter. Oh, eh, I spoke too soon. Just chill. Get your turn. There you go. Awesome. So now his Fortress of the Gods is gone. Yeah, don't care, because he's probably not even going to get another attack the rest of the entire fight. And it's time for Labyrinthia to do her thing with lightning! Yeah, look at that. Look at that I'm damage. It's for insane! Anything. Uh, then I want to turn shift over to Labyrinthia. I think that you guys see exactly what's going to happen here. And another lightning. So this is pretty much the deal. Um, this is what, what we're going to be doing. It's uh, very effective. It's very easy. You can also use Levin's Blast to deal some decent damage, but lightning does so much more. Why not? And it only's going to take about four lightnings, and then you're done. Let's see how much damage a blast will do. It'll do 133, whereas hers deals 230-something damage. So, yeah, it's all about Labby this time. I'm going to get very angry at you in a moment. Well, as long as you fry him to death, I really don't care what you do. Uh, turn shift again. And I know it's cheap, but I don't care. <laughs> The enemies have used really cheap tactics against me. It's about time to use some cheap against them, too. And there you go. Easy enough. Probably the quickest battle of all the entire freaking game. Ooh, look at all this nice stuff I get, too. Oh, by the way, that treasure chest up there that I didn't get was a sniper build plus one, and I don't care about Please it. Please forgive my intrusion, but I fear it is nearly time for us to withdraw. You're running away? As you are not my enemies... I see no reason to consider this running. I have simply fulfilled the task that was requested of me. It has been my great pleasure to distract you until the grouse vine setup could be completed. Although in truth, I am wrapping up a little earlier than requested in order to make the game ahead slightly more interesting. Grouse vine? Like Asgard, grouse vine was excavated from an era long past. A relic weapon, you might say. The plan is to obliterate you along with an entire city district by summoning a tactical mass annihilation device that detonates with a searing flash before dispersing fatal toxins. A mass annihilation device? They're summoning that in the capital city? Huh? And why are you telling us this? Now all we have to do is stay away from your mass tactical whatever and we're safe! But I expect you will head for the Grousevine device nonetheless. If we don't stop that explosion, the lives of countless people who live in the capital will be lost. Well said, Princess. You have far more concern for the peasantry than any of the elder statesmen do. Is there nothing you monsters wouldn't do? The Grousevine summoning apparatus is being erected in the plaza just ahead. You have precious little time to waste. What a beautiful face you have, Phileas. I hope you'll do whatever it takes to stop that bomb. Our long journey is far from its end, and it is not my intent to lose you so soon. 
survive and make me happier still. Who the hell? I am I, just as you are you. I want you to writhe ceaselessly in the prison of torment that I had devised. And at the precise moment when pain has devoured you completely, I shall have your body as my own. Phileas. I have no idea, but right now we have to hurry. We have to stop them from summoning Grousevine. Quickly to the plaza. Levin, lead the way. Gotcha! It's right this way! Everyone, follow me! Why is it that they always make the gay characters in JRPGs be just incredibly evil? That really just grinds my gears. Father, where'd you go? Hmm, how mysterious. Well, we're gonna find out more about that Grisefine device next time on Let's Play Wild Arms XF. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.